Good morning, children. Welcome to the mathematics class. Today, we are going to discuss a new chapter from your context. The name of the chapter is Integer. So, at first, we will discuss here some important topics from this chapter. So, our first uh, topic is Introduction of integers. <coughs> Earlier, I think you have uh, learned that what are natural numbers and what are whole numbers. Okay. So again, I am writing here uh, natural number. Natural number will begin from 1, okay, and the whole numbers will begin from 0. That means the number 1, 2, 3, these all are natural number, and the whole number 0, 1, 2, 3, these all are whole number. The smallest natural number is 1, and the smallest whole number is 0. So, main point is uh, what is integers? Simply, all the whole numbers along with negative numbers are integers. Okay. So, uh, integers are whole number plus negative number. That means uh, whole numbers, uh, whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, and the negative numbers are minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Okay. Now we denote integers i equal to It is the set of integers. Okay, so all the whole numbers are integers, and all the negative numbers also integers. Okay, now we will go in our next topic. Our next topic is number line. what is number line? If you want to represent any number on a, on a line, that means uh, number line, okay. So, I am drawing here one number line here. At first, we have to draw a straight line. The middle portion is for 0 and this is the right side and this is the left side, okay. And the right side, this side is for positive numbers, this side is for negative numbers. Okay. So, here, class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4, like this. Here also minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. It is the number line. Okay. So, in exam, uh, your question will come like this. Represent um, any number three and minus four on the number line. Okay. Again, I'm saying represent three and minus four on the number line. So with the help of this number line, we can easily represent these two numbers also. Okay. Just we have to identify what is the three and what is minus four. This is the plus 3, this is the minus 2. Very simple. Okay. Now, 
Now our topic number three. Very important topic. Properties of integers. Properties of integers. Okay. The first property is Commutative, commutative property for addition. Commutative property for addition. Actually, what is commutative property? Okay. <coughs> for any two integers a and b, we can write here. A plus B is equal to B plus A. That means the sum of A and B is equal to the sum of B and A. Okay. So we can write here A plus B is equal to B plus A. Why are A and B are are any two integer. Okay. Or A and B are any two integer. We can take any uh, numbers also. Suppose A equal to two. B equal to three. After that, a plus b equal to I am writing just such. A plus b equal to two plus three. Okay, so two plus three is five. Now b plus a equal to three plus two. Just we interchange the numbers only. Okay, three plus three is equal to also five. That means these two results are same. Is the commutative property for addition. Now we discuss here commutative property for multiplication. This is also same. Only one change here. Just instead of plus, we have to write here into. Okay. Instead of plus, we have to write here into. That means for any two integer a and b, the commutative property for multiplication is a into b equal to b into a. Same and we are any two integer, okay. There also a into b equal to two into three. Two into three that is six. Now b into a equal to three into two. This is also six. So a into b equal to six. B into A equal to six. That means the result of A into B and the result of B into A both are same. It is the commutative property for multiplication. Okay. So next. Property is associative property. Associative property.
now we need three numbers okay suppose uh, three numbers are a b and c and associative property for integers for addition is addition okay addition in case of addition is a plus b plus c equal to in first bracket a plus b bracket complete plus c okay so the sum of a and the sum of b and c is equal to the sum of a plus b and c now you prove it to take one example okay suppose a equal to 1 b equal to 2 c equal to 3 now a plus b plus c equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 2 plus 3 is in bracket now 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 4 so 1 plus 4 is 5 So our left hand side is a plus b plus c. Okay, the result is five. Now, now I'm doing here a plus b plus c equal to one plus two in the bracket plus three. So one plus two is Sorry. Here, two plus three is five. So one plus five is six. One plus two is three. Three plus three. So three plus three is six. That means this uh, a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b. Plus C, which is the associative property for addition. And the associative property for multiplication is. Associative property for multiplication. <clears throat> Same way. Okay. Just instead of plus, we will write here into. Okay. A into within bracket B into C equal to within last bracket A into B bracket complete after that into C. Same way, suppose I equal to one, b equal to two, c equal to three. So a into b into c equal to one into two into three. So one into two into three is six. So one to six is six. And a into b into c equal to One into two, bracket complete, into three. One into two is two into three. That means two into three is six. Okay. So <clears throat> the result of a into b with the bracket b into c equal to the first bracket a into b into c. It is the associative property for multiplication. Now next topic is 
that's just the uh, identity okay additive identity and multiplicative identity at first you will writing here identity additive additive identity okay what is additive identity uh, simple way we need one special number okay and if we add this special number with any integer the result will remain same okay then the this special numbers are called additive identity clear we need one special number special number plus any integer therefore the result will be the same integer same same as before integer okay the result will be same same as before integer so what is here special number this special number is additive identity okay yes student the special number is 0 If we add zero with any integer, that means zero plus uh, we take one integer, one one is a positive integer, okay, one. The result will be one. If we add zero with negative negative integer minus one, the result will be minus one. Okay. So zero is the additive identity for integer okay now is multiplicative identity same way just you to change the sign multiplicative identity means we do a special number With multiply, we multiply this special number with any integer, and the result will remain same. Then these numbers are multiplicative. This, this special number is called a multiplicative identity. Okay, so multiplicative identity is one. Multiplicative identity is one. One into five equal to five. One into minus five equal to minus five. So these two numbers are same. And the <coughs> integer will become same. Okay. So zero is the additive identity, and minus sorry, and one is the multiplicative identity. Okay, student. I think all of you are understand everything. Okay. Uh, thank you to all. Have a good day.